What's up guys, back with another video. If you couldn't tell from the title, it is a rosin cartridge. First time I've ever tried a rosin cartridge. The first time I've tried something in like a, a vape thing was those bloom ones. But this one specifically is a cartridge, 510 thread, all that. And uh, we are gonna try one today. It is the brand Woodstock. This is a brand I haven't heard of. I initially went to the club to buy a punch extracts cartridge and uh, they didn't have it. So I bought this one because the bud tender, shout out to the bud tender, he uh, recommended this. And I believe it was only like 35 out the door. So pretty cheap for some uh, a full gram of live rosin to be it exact. And uh, yeah, here we are. It is Woodstock. Let me know if you've tried this strain before. But initially why I wanted to go to the club and buy a cartridge is because I have two cartridges right now. I need a third one because I have a device that requires three cartridges and a uh, Obviously, I want to do a video on this cartridge, single uh, a single video on this cartridge first, just because I've never tried a, a you know a rosin cartridge or 510 thread. So, so here it is, the brand Woodstock, and as you can see right here, if you've been a long time viewer of the channel, you know that anything guava I get, and uh, I believe it's guava, it's uh, Grandy guava. So there's that. Also the back. I'm gonna check that out. I will also be reading you the stats and stuff, but let's just show you the box first. Actually, let's just open it first. Oh, here is the numbers right here. I'm just gonna say fuck it. I'm just gonna rip the fuck out of it. I ain't got time for that bullshit, you know what I mean? Okay, so here it is. Let's just show you. So it does have this um, cylinder mouthpiece that I see on like, usually it's like a plastic tip that's like that shape. But here it is. Let's get a thumbnail. All right, so let's read the stats here. Um, well, it says on the back, Legacy Colas per Pure Live Rosin Base Terpene Rich Blends. Okay, so I'm thinking that they use terpenes in here because rosin's a more it's not as liquidy as other you know you know um concentrates so i guess they add terpenes to make it more of a you know like this so it says live cannabis extracts cannabis derived terpenes so this isn't fully live rosin uh, this is going to be live rosin with a mixture of terps so added terps just because, you know, rosin, I think there is a method to put rosin into a cartridge. You would have to like melt it down or something. Um, but I guess this is just a more easier way. And plus, terpenes is good, you know, it just adds flavor to it. Let's just talk about the stats. THC is about almost 700, 695.64 milligrams. And uh, manufacturer package date, November 16th. Okay, not too bad. About a two months old, not too bad. Um, I do have my Vivant battery. You guys know the deal with this. It is uh, arguably my favorite battery just because of the customization that it provides. You know, it has my channel name on there and who wouldn't want that? You know, if it had your name on there or if it had something that you wanted on there, like it just makes it extra special, you know? And if you're interested in that, it will be in the pinned comments down below. I do have a coupon code for 20% off too that will provide down below. But yes, let's uh, put this in here. There we go. Cheers, guys. <coughs> so, sorry about that. I got a call right now, but um, it tasted like citrus. I don't know if guava has that taste. It could be the terpenes in here, but uh, it is not exactly guava. It's grandy guava, so we'll see what's... We'll take another hit. It is very smooth compared to, you know, I would say the Bloom Live Rosin. Well, no, I would say this one Maybe the Bloom Live Rosin just because it had like a disposable burnt, like heating system so it's it hits harder. I would say this is probably a little bit harsher because of the added terpenes. Uh, I do see, I feel like an irritation uh, as I exhale but not too much and honestly the taste is pretty much enjoyable. Um, it is uh, kind of lame that it's not fully live rosin but 
you know, I can't complain. I mean, at the price that it was, 35 for a full gram, like, you have, you have to think something's up. It's not fully live frosted, you know? But we're gonna take about a hit or two and then end the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products from Woodstock. Cheers. It's not bad. It's a very fresh taste too. I guess that's from the live rosin. Um, and then you get like an overly citrus taste that generally is not found in guava. So I'm just assuming that it's crossed with the citrus strain. That's why it's granny guava. But overall not bad. Like I'm liking it. And this will be a perfect addition to the, the three cartridge battery. I'm again fat hits off that and I can't wait. But back to the Woodstock. Would I get this again? Uh, Probably, I mean, this tastes better than, um, you know, some live resins that I gotten for more expensive. So I definitely would get it. And just the fact that it's live rosin. I mean, I know it's not fully live rosin. It's a plus, you know, it has that more fresher taste. And honestly, with the added terps, which is, you know, for me, generally, when it comes to live rosin, it's not as terpy as live resin. But if they add terps in there, then I, I feel like, you know, they might be on the same level or like playing field, you know? Let's take this last hit. Like I said, let me know if you've tried anything from Woodstock down below. Let's take this hit, cheers. Ooh, that is, the vapor production's there. You know what I mean? So that's good. <coughs> but other than that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace out.